Hey, what's up everybody? We're going to continue to do this fastest build uh, challenge. So that's save slot 2. Um, and what I'm going to accomplish today in this video is to show um, the grind of this game and how to kind of uh, shorten, shorten that grind as much as possible. We really are set up for a lot of different things. One thing I am noticing here, if I go into my uh, levels here, is I would like to improve them overall. Meat, for example, is something that can only grow as I upgrade the base. But I have plenty of resources to get wheat going, and I'm just looking into what else I can do here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come here and build another scrap pile. And then we're going to upgrade those three and reassess how I am doing in that area. I, I know that I will need to upgrade uh, a lot of my housing. I am pretty much at maximum population. So I'm just because the game does offer people through, I am going to make sure that I have that available. And then I'm going to upgrade these and let's reassess my capacity for see I would like my metal capacity to be a thousand simply because um, I'm going to need a lot of metal sheets to in order to upgrade for example my uh, base after this after this upgrades I'll need metal sheets to upgrade it and then my workshop again will need something so just kind of zoning down on the basics and really I'm just gonna sit here and watch the specs move around the resource numbers go up and that's going to be the end of this day we're gonna fall into nighttime and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this and look at the capacity is uh, 760. Mm, I think it's time to improve that. That's going to be one of the goals here. The other goal for this show is to get everything upgraded and just really show the grind of the game. Because I could expand over here for example, but if I bite off too much land I won't have enough people and resources to protect it all so that's what I'm saying is that it's essential right now to kinda huddle down after you grow and get things upgraded get everything pretty much on an even level I believe I'm not saying everyone has done this but I think to in order to burst out with a lot of growth at one time it is something that I need to consider doing if that makes sense go ahead and take these new citizens and we're just going to make them uh, knife fighters and the other thing that I would like to do here is to go ahead and go into the menu and construct a forge and I'm going to need people so we're going to decrease scavengers and increase knifers uh, in order to protect the wall one of the comments that I've had recently is that he would like to see the days um, get higher in number. I definitely am going to be playing this game until I conquer it. So that is the long-term goal of the series. It's to show the beauty of this game. Always those last little kamikaze guys. As soon as I'm able to make an ammo store, I am going to increase the capacity of my bullet storage. Now, the downside of that, let me go into the menu real quick. The downside of that is, and I'm not going to put this number at zero for knife fighters because during the day they actually increase the population 
growth, keep my birth rate up higher. I'm going to adjust down the amount of metal that's coming in because I have plenty of metal. And some of that metal is being used right now in order to have more lumberjacks. So we are about to have a, a massive amount of wood and I am going to be using it to do multiple things at one time. So now that we have the wood that's needed, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the workshop, which is going to allow us to go into the menu and craft a hammer. We're going to go ahead and craft four guns. This will be later used. Now that we have a blacksmith, our bullets are going to be coming up, and this is the end of the day. We will accumulate bullets later. Now I'm going to simply let some days pass because it's going to take time for them to get metal stored up. Okay, so we, like I was saying earlier, if there's any game out there that you're having issues with, um, just leave a comment down below and I definitely will uh, see if I can help you resolve it and do a quick playthrough. I did that with a subscriber, Project Penguin. What I'm going to do here is let my resources stack up and then I will join you again soon. So I went ahead and upgraded the housing just in case people come in. Um, a trick to some of this is you can always just exit out and then go back into the game and that that's a stopgap measure it's like if you have the resources then you can just use them as you think that you needed to but you can't really progress further back in the game so as long as you don't have long-term errors in your build then yeah you'll be able to solve it just by saying oh I forgot that my wall was so damaged and I need to you know start this you just restart that day you just are restarting that day so that's the limit on that alright so we are going to upgrade this stuff and we are going to go into the menu and make sure that our balance is correct I'm still having some issues with feeding everyone at night so I need to go back into the menu free up a person and go ahead and send out a new farmer so I'm gonna go in here and go ahead and bring down the blacksmith because I've got a uh, hundred and eleven bullets uh, you know they, they may go fast but I am trying to stack up the metal. Um, I could go in here and just say, hey, make a different kind of bullet. But I'm trying to conserve all metal all over the board, so I've pulled him off of that station and put him on to getting metal for everything. Go ahead and hit upgrade on that. Upgrade on that. 20 times 5 is 100. So I need, I need 3 more hunters just to keep that ratio 5 to every uh, 100 to every 5 people I need to go ahead and free up some more people for the wall These attacks on the wall at night are getting a little bit more often. So let's go ahead and hit upgrade on the farm. I am going to go into this menu, come down here, and craft plenty of plates. And I'm just preparing for uh, being able to upgrade one of these. I'm going to adjust for the next day. I still want to concentrate heavily on metal. And I'll have to 
continue to look at my levels wood to make sure that uh, everything stays where it's still rising at a rate that I want it but at the same time it isn't being depleted too quickly and it's not rising too slowly I want it at that even rate that I can use the wood when I need it but it's replenishing fast enough while I still focus on metal if that makes sense okay so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this just in case there's more people to come along of course come on in now that I've got a hundred go ahead and assign them to again metal gathering go ahead and hit upgrade on that all right everybody so I am going to be able to go ahead and hit upgrade on the base and that's gonna be awesome now uh, the metal situation is really going to hold me back a little bit but that's okay we will eventually get there and I can start upgrading these for a thousand a piece and yes I need to upgrade my housing so I'm gonna focus on that it does take a little bit of metal to do that but as the resources pour in I'll be making those changes you can already see that I've changed the housing so far as it is and uh, it's gonna take a slow process but we'll definitely be able to get there in fact 50 more wood comes in I'll be able to hit upgrade on another one just like this there we go okay everybody I just wanted to check in with you just to let you know uh, something that's been going on this is more of my setup now I have 10 workers and I have almost double the amount of people scavenging for metal than I do lumberjacks and you know 17 farmers and I'm trying to keep the amount of knife fighters that go out at night low because they attract a lot of zombies and so far it's not really working but I have plenty of people when I need them and of course I have some guns I'm gonna come in here and go ahead and craft up more of these and go ahead and upgrade this using up a lot of my wood I will uh, upgrade this in just a moment but I can upgrade these and it's being that it just takes wood while I'm waiting for the metal to stack up to upgrade or make the metal sheets for the next scrap pile let's hit upgrade it go it takes you know some wood away from me of course but I am just slowly upgrading these up to their max level as I uh, wait for the metal to come in and if we go into my inventory levels I've got plenty of these um, but I will need plenty more so I continue to make them and then by the time um, I'm able to upgrade this next one I should have at least one of these farms upgraded to max level so that's kind of the pattern and the grind that I'm going through right now I can and probably need to go ahead and hit the housing because I'm at 120 civil uh, citizens and I really need to get these upgraded and as you know I've already upgraded this base that's gonna take a lot of time but it will happen sooner than later all right everybody so I built some housing I'm gonna be able to take in the new citizens and uh, just don't forget that housing is going to be majorly important and really that's it I just uh, wanted to in this last spot I think I'm gonna turn it into a farm and then upgrade these to be able to uh, have the storage that I need so let's go ahead and construct that farm there and I'll need to upgrade this housing and things are coming along just fine and probably by the end of the day I'll get this other housing upgraded and yeah through this whole time you've got to remember that the one of the more important 
one of the more important things here is to maintain your housing as much as possible because with the more citizens the more you can get done the faster you can get things done and the happier and more strength your outpost has go into my menu here and go ahead and craft all of these that I need I will need more of them so alright it's back to the grind I need to upgrade this and I will not be able to upgrade that but that's okay um, so when we look at our inventory you know six this wheat goes extremely fast um, the meat practically disappears go back into my inventory down here scroll down and as you can see I have uh, I can make plenty of these 37 and soon this base will get upgraded I'm going to make some more and go ahead and get this accomplished we go into the numbers here and I can have 260 of that particular metal and so I will be able to accomplish that this one just to show you how I handle the night um, if we go into the menu and look at personnel you can see that I have 12 knife fighters so the 12 knife fighters um, the 12 knife fighters help protect the wall but it's they're not so quick to grab zombies attention and if they do well then I have plenty of people that can suit up with knives and go ahead and let me show you um, I've got 38 knives here I have uh, plenty of uh, guns I have plenty of all these other materials and I do create them as needed but I wanted to show you just how the night goes as you can see the zombies will approach and of course they do attack they're not being so many people on the wall I'm trying to minimize how fast and there they go they just grabbed a whole bunch of people but those six most of those people will get knifed they're one hit quick and then you've got four zombies over here and my wall this wall always seems to be taking a beating so you just go into the menu and you throw more people at it now really all these zombies are beating up the wall and I dare not bring out anyone with a gun because it would just get see now as you can see my wall is quite low here but it's not going to get breached and at this point I could really just shut down the game as soon as it saves shut it down and start it up and it's not going to save the fact that there were zombies on the wall and okay so now go ahead and decrease the amount of people back down to six and maybe I'll six is a, a decent number I'll increase the workers and then devote the rest into resource uh, let's go down one go up one and there you go I mean that's how a typical night goes where I have to pull out some more people but here's the key I make sure that my the people bringing in the material are that that wood is going to immediately get consumed so I go ahead and just mm, go ahead and just jack up the amount of workers that means I'm not going to be able to save much wood throughout the day but as you can see right here I've already got 200 and something it is increasing so I have more people bringing in more wood than I do workers taking it that's how I gross an increase on on it and repair this wall to the point that it needs to be we'll take a look right here as they finish up their repairs so again I'm being able to pull in that increase and I need to go ahead and get into the menu go to production and produce up enough of these to be able to get to this point 
Um, look at my inventory keeping. Yes. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the blacksmith. Tomorrow, he will be able to go ahead and use up, you know, this metal that is pretty much maxed out here. And that's what I do. While there is always something going on, there's always something to be done at the time. Like, right now, I can go ahead and hit upgrade on this. And that doesn't make my wood production so low that it's not going to be helpful uh, if my wall takes a beating tonight. And I need to be able to squeeze out one thing that I did forget. Hmm. I don't know if my housing can take it. I'm going to go in here and go ahead and demolish a wood store and I am going to build a ammo store and so that's going to affect me you know 150 and um, I will make it up by upgrading these other ones it's slowly, con slowly converting them over to make that gain back and that's the only way that I know to do it is to slowly, you know, you have to sacrifice a building and you make up for it in your other buildings. But I think um, I'll have plenty of wood to be able to, okay, so this is what I'm saying. Like I need 2,000 wood. I wasn't anywhere near 2,000 wood and I need to be able to maintain... Um, making progression so I had to sacrifice that but I have enough wood storages to make up that difference so my wall is taking a bit of a beating here but really those guys have it under control it's going to take a little bit more beatings this one's going to take a little bit of a beating, but really I will survive this night. If this was a red night though, I, don't, I would have to pull out all the guns, all the men, and everybody would have to defend. So like I said before, you can just restart the game after it saves, and guess what? All the zombies went away, my wall's not horribly beat up, I've got enough workers out there. I'm going to lower the amount of workers though to help increase the resource management here now i have taken quite a few steps back but like i said i'm about to make up for it as soon as 50 more wood come in which is going to happen in just a moment upgrade upgrade and as this last bit of wood comes in, I'll be able to upgrade more because I am going to have to have 2,000. Upgrade. Here we go. And we go ahead and upgrade that. Now look at our storage for those numbers. And we're pretty much back where we were. Yes, we did take a step back. But after all of these have been upgraded properly, um, it will not be because that will be a hundred two hundred three hundred and That'll be three hundred so that'll get me up to about nine hundred So I will need to expand a little bit more uh, The other idea here perhaps is to say Okay, let's look at our storage our wheat Could be cut in half they pretty much use it all up at once anyways. So I'm thinking about demolishing this. B. That's an idea. So you can, as you can see here, this is day 40. Uh, we're having everything pretty much get leveled up as needed to be able to take the next step. But I wanted to show you... Uh, how hard it is on level 40 
on a red night. So I know this is what's going to need to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull the trigger and let y'all see how it goes. And go ahead and get your knifers out before they start blasting because you will need every single soul that you have. And there you go. Um, every zombie in the world is going to be coming at you. And every single person is going to be needed to take care of this situation. But as you can see here, um, things are going uh, crazy. And we are getting awfully low. But things have all of a sudden stopped. And there we go. So, go back down. And that, I mean, it's, it's a thrill, but that's the way I get... It's a thrill, but that's the way I get through this. In order to respond to that major threat here, we are going to go ahead and get 10 workers out. Um, we will have to just kind of switch things around. But, I mean, it is a thrill to have that happen. And I'm sorry if the tapping was stopping you from doing it. But, I mean, I have to be able to move um, and try to communicate what has to happen. So, I literally have, like, had 50 people on the wall and the people out blasting me. And, and yeah, my wall took a lot of damage. And I'm not going to have a lot of wood for a while. In fact, I'm going to go in here and make some more of these to be able to respond to the threat of my wall to get it back up and running. And I honestly, I need to get it upgraded. And I haven't done it yet, but it is coming. And as you can see, this wall is pretty much repaired. So we're going to go back to a minimum of six. Go into my menu here and craft that up. And we'll need to upgrade that. So we're really just back on the grind look at our storage capacity I've got two more wood stacks to upgrade and then I can hold 2000 to be able to upgrade this if I go into my inventory scroll down you can see that I have plenty of um, sheets of metal to be able to upgrade it as well so I'll join you back when we get to that point <laughs> All right, everybody, so here we are, and we're on day 43, everything's good. Um, my wall took some damage over the night, so of course the workers are going to come in, and I need to have, make sure that I have plenty of lumberjacks, but I also need a lot of people getting me metal. So I just had a massive attack on my wall and the way I survived it was to bring out 81 knifers and in fact I'm going to go up here and craft one um, 81 knifers and two three guards um, and I was able to survive the night so I have to reset all these numbers I'll be right back so once we get through this night I'm going to go ahead and call it a video I think that we've made great strides in it I've built enough uh, scrap metal piles to be able to accomplish upgrading this. I just have to upgrade them to the point that I can store enough to get that done. We'll do that next time. And just uh, so y'all know, this is how I handle the night. Um, we are getting into the point where there are dangerous
fearsome mountain of zombies that come. So I just throw a lot of knifers out there and the mayhem will pursue, I promise you. Uh, think about giving this video a like if you have other people that enjoy this game. Go ahead and send them a link to the, the if you find this video good, go ahead and send them a link. Maybe they can take some share here, and here comes the attack. I was able to upgrade the wall pretty much up to full health. I was pretty much able to upgrade that wall to full health, so I should be able to withstand it. I am going to free up two people, because three people, because I believe I'm probably going to need some guards out here. And yes, we'll need the guards and we'll need more knifers. That's how we. So that's how you get through the night. Um, I would say after seven o'clock, uh, when the program saves, you can just shut the program down and then go back into it, and it will not have saved that there were zombies at the wall. Now, is that kind of a cheat? I believe it is because I know that I can survive the night. So this is going to be the video. As you can see, we've made a lot of good progress here. And so I want to appreciate your attention and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.